tonight on the Solar Sports Desk. The Miami Heat and the Oklahoma City Thunder size each other up right before the All-Star Weekend. Battle Los Angeles commences as the LA Clippers meet the Los Angeles Lakers in Tinseltown. The Angels are eager to start the baseball season with one of the highest paid rosters in the league. And the World Cup of Snowboarding takes place in Sochi, Russia. I'm Cheska Litton and this is the Solar Sports Desk. Only two games in the association today, but both were marquee matchups. However, the games themselves weren't as close as we expected. In Miami, LeBron James had 39 points, 12 rebounds, and 7 assists, as the Miami Heat trampled the Oklahoma City Thunder 110 to 100. Chris Bosch chipped in 20 points and 12 rebounds as the Heat won their sixth straight against the Thunder. Kevin Durant had 40 points and 8 rebounds but missed his first seven shots as OKC fell hopelessly behind. Russell Westbrook had 26 points and 10 assists with six turnovers. Dwayne Wade had 13 points and eight assists for the Heat before fouling out with 3 minutes and 29 seconds to play. The win keeps Miami on top of the East while OKC remains in solid second behind the San Antonio Spurs. Meanwhile, in the Battle of Los Angeles, Lob City came out on top once again. Chris Paul had 24 points and 13 assists. Blake Griffin scored 18 of his 22 points in a spectacular first quarter, and the Clippers cemented their supremacy in Los Angeles with a 125-101 victory over the Lakers on Thursday night. Chauncey Billups had 21 points for the Clippers, who never trailed in the game. The Clippers shot 16 three-pointers to help put the game away early and remain third in the West. Kobe Bryant had 20 points and 11 assists for the Lakers, who head to the break in 10th place. You can catch all the action live on Basketball TV and for those who want a more sporting atmosphere, BTV will be holding viewing parties for the NBA All-Star Weekend. The NBA All-Star Viewing Party will be at Bugsy's Bar and Bistro at the Fort this February 17 Sunday and February 18 Monday. The first 50 guests to register will get a free breakfast platter plus one drink from Bugsy's and a copy of Slam Magazine. Slam Philippines will also be giving away special prizes, so don't miss out on the fun. And we all know that most of you are waiting for the Slam Dunk competition on All-Star Saturday night. So to whet your appetite just a little bit, check this out. Joining us on the phone now, all the way in Houston, is Sports Desk host Gino Rufino. Gino? Good evening, Cheska. Good evening, Philippines. Wow, so formal. All right, Gino, aside from, <laughs> uh, aside from eating in and out and posting Instagram pictures of you um, with Dwayne Wade standees and his jerseys, what have you been doing over there? <laughs> You know, we, we've been preparing a lot uh, for, for today, especially, because a lot of the festivities happen today. Um, uh, we're going to be heading over to the media availability over in the, uh, in, in the jam session area and the, in the hotel uh, that houses the players. 
So we're expected to be able to talk to guys from Team Chuck and Team Shaq as well, not to mention the guys who are going to be participating in the Shooting Stars competition, in the Skills Challenge, in the uh, Slam Dunk competition, and in the Three Point Shootout as well. All of those guys are going to be covering today, and there's a long list of players uh, that we have to cover. All right. Well, yesterday I actually got to talk to Kelly Williams about the slam dunk contest, and he thinks it's going to be a toss up between Gerald Green and uh, White. Your thoughts? Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of people think that it's going to be Gerald Green. Uh, Gerald Green is definitely one of the most, uh, let's say, gifted athletes that the NBA has seen in a very, very long time. Uh, Ter but don't forget about Terrence Ross. Terrence Ross is going to be somebody to watch out for as well in the slam dunk competition. Uh, James White, yeah, you can say he's definitely uh, somewhere up there as well. But for me, the sleeper pick, uh, believe it or not, is actually somebody like Eric Bledsoe. I think Bledsoe is one of those little guys that can get up. And I think uh, I was talking to some of the guys here, some of the players, uh, and you know they, they like what the Eric Bledsoe can bring to the table. Actually, right now in front of me, uh, Steve Smith is in front of me, and uh, Rick Fox is uh, right in front of me as well. Starstruck yet? Not really. I'm used to seeing these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I get starstruck. I get starstruck when I when I sit next to you and you know, during during sports desk. Ah, thanks. But just so you know, I'm kind of getting comfortable holding on to the desk by myself. But anyway, <laughs> uh, what else have you have you and uh, Ricky been doing? I'm seeing a lot of photos of you and Ricky just goofing around. I'm not jealous, well, by the way. <laughs> yesterday, uh, you know, the players are just starting to arrive. Yesterday, uh, in, in over in jam session, uh, Yao Ming was over there, um, and then also Carmelo Anthony, Steve Novak was there as well. Uh, but most, the bulk of the players will be arriving today uh, and last night. So a lot of things are yesterday. A lot of preparations were happening for for the week for the festivities, and then today is really when everything starts. The media availability for all the players. That's participating on All Star Saturday night will be happening today, and then tomorrow will be the big boys for the for the All Star game itself. So TJ and Boom actually just arrived today as well. Uh, so you can expect them to bring you All Star Saturday night for free TV. I'm sorry, did you just post a photo of Chipotle? Sorry. Did you post a photo of Chipotle? I can't. I, Chipotle. Never. Yeah. Never mind. I just keep seeing food. <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's yeah, that's uh, that's a Tex Mix restaurant that a friend of mine from uh, Houston, Texas, suggested. And so, uh, your uh, photo <laughs> with Pau Gasol. Well, at least with a standee, you don't look that short next to him, sort of. Yeah, I tried. I, I tried. I, I was wearing. Um, I, I had my shoes on that gave me another three inches uh, in height, and uh, I was trying to give him my 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 feet. And to see, to see so that he can use it, so he can play, but so that you know he'll be healthy. But it wasn't really working too well. All right. Well, uh, things in the All Star Weekend are already get, uh, getting underway. Gino, you're already there. You're seeing all these people. What are you looking forward to the most while you're out there? You know what? I, I'm looking forward to the practice because uh, that, that's when we really the get practice? to interact with the players. Yeah, that's when we get to really interact with the players. That's when we get to interact with the coaches. Uh, Coach Spo will be there. We'll be able to uh, chat with him for a little bit. Um, and then, you know, and then the game itself, of course, you can't, you can't deny that. You have the best athletes in the world playing the best game in the world. I mean, it's just, it's going to be, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Um, <clears throat> Would you already know who's performing at the uh, All Star Weekend? There's a lot of people performing as far as uh, entertainment is concerned. I know Diddy's in town, uh, Alicia Keys is in town, uh, to name a few. Uh, to me, two of them anyway. But there's, there's, there's a whole lot of different things that's happening uh, starting tonight all the way till Sunday night. Uh, of course, the halftime show is going to be excellent as well. All right. Thank you, Gino. And just so you know, every single photo you post with Dwayne Wade in it, I am expecting you to take it home. That poster, the jersey, I don't know. If you post a picture with Dwayne Wade himself, then you are going to have to take him home as well. I, I'm sorry, but there, are, there is going to be an interview with Dwayne Wade, I think, either today or tomorrow. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. I'll, I'll try and convince him. I'll, okay. show, I'll show him a photo of you and see what happens. Okay, well, just so you know, my, um, my ask an all-star on BTV question is, um, will you marry me to Dwayne Wade? You can ask him that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll talk to you again on Monday, I'm guessing. 
All right, anyway, Gino's probably gonna keep sending photos. Hopefully it's not of food or giant steaks from Texas, I don't know. But anyway, moving on to more basketball. The greatest of all time, Michael Jordan. We already know he's the greatest of all time, but does he really have to cause more attention between basketball fans? In an interview on NBA TV on his 50th birthday, Jordan said he would take Kobe Bryant over LeBron James. Jordan said Kobe's five championship rings puts him ahead of LeBron James for now. Bryant is on his 17th season while LeBron is on his 10th. I guess Jordan's comments will keep the debate going at least until LeBron wins a few more rings. And just to keep you on your toes watching this weekend, here are the top 10 dunks of the week. Free throw line, out front, the loose ball to Thornton, over the top, Thompson. Getting fancy and Faber takes a ball into the crowd. New Hampshire. And was a top 12 recruit. Carter drives, slam, nice pass fake, and then apparently the flu bug has officially gone. When you start down, you're pretty healthy, no question. Back again is DeAndre Jordan, and that is what Jordan does. And that's he is fourth in the league in dunks. That's his 104th. Yeah, but he usually does it off uh, an alley-oop pass or a lob. He's got stuck on the screen and a wide open play. And the lob dunk into Paul George. Great pass by George Hill for the reverse lob. Ivan. the clock. Playing this kind of basketball, he's being stripped. The Thunder! Bring in it! Westbrook! Trying to break the equipment. 22 points off in turnovers. Good job of getting, making him have one shot and out. Here comes Livingston, a two-hand smash! Coming down, following the break. The secondary break. A turnover by Chicago, which leads to Javel McGee. See, there's no shafting the fool on plays like that. Watch out. Watch out. I said watch out. Didn't you hear me? I said watch out. He's taking points. Two words come right to mind. Bad intent. to work. Bryant the drive. Oh -ho! Kobe Bryant on a rock attack. He was looking for somebody to challenge him and nobody came quick enough to stop it. In EuroLeague basketball, Barcelona win as Real Madrid lose their unbeaten record in the latest round on Thursday. In Group F action, Barcelona held off a late rally from Maccabi Electra Tel Aviv to win 77 to 82. Ante Tomic scored 18 points to help Barcelona to go 6-1 in the rankings. Real Madrid finally lost against Anadolu Efes 74 to 72, dropping both teams into a tie at the top of Group E. Hamon Alfred Lucas scored 16 points. And for our Twitter topic of the night, who will win the All-Star Game, East or West? Send in your thoughts at CheckLit at Solar Sports Desk, and we will try to read all your reactions later on in the show. Federer is through to the quarters. Kutcher, uh, Kutcher leads in the first round. The Los Angeles Angels prepare for the season and snowboarding at the World Cup. More sports stories when we return. Keep it here.
Roger Federer defeats Thiermo de Bakker 6-3, 6-4 to advance in the World Indoor Tournament. Federer only landed 42% of his first serves during the first set, but an early break helped him take the lead against an awkward opponent. Another early break in the second set combined with an improved service ratio earned top seed Federer a place in the quarterfinals. He next faces Frenchman Julian Beneteau, who he beat twice on the grass courts of Wimbledon last year. Second seed Juan Martin Del Potro struggled before beating wildcard Ernest Gulbis 7-6, 6-3. Yeah, it's always good, you know, when you start the tournament late to, to start strong because, uh, you know, if you want to win the tournament, you need to win five matches in, on, in five days. So it's good to save energy and, and at the same time, you know, just get a feel for the tournament. Um, you sort of relax a little bit once you reach second and third round and you feel like you're starting to play better as well in the process. Um, so I'm just really happy being back in Rotterdam and actually um, happy that I started the tournament so well. Olympic and Paralympic star Oscar Pistorius is expected to appear in court Friday morning facing charges of killing his girlfriend after she was shot dead at his home. The South African Blade Runner Oscar Pistorius faces charges of murder after his girlfriend Riva Steenkamp was found dead in his home in the early hours of Thursday. Initial reports of the shooting suggested Pistorius may have mistaken Steenkamp for an intruder. A 9mm pistol was recovered from the home, which sits in the middle of a heavily guarded gated complex in the northern outskirts of the South African capital. The 2012 Commissioner's Cup Best Import Denzel Bowles is back in the PBA. Monster Bowles is replacing Matt Rogers in the San Mig Coffee Mixers, the first import to be sent home for the second conference. Bowles arrives on Sunday to play his first game on Friday, February 22, versus the Rain or Shine Elasto Painters at the Mall of Asia Arena. The 6'10 center led the BMED Yamados to the Commissioner's Cup title last year, averaging 26.3 points, 12.5 rebounds, 3 assists, and 1.9 blocks. Matt Kuchar cards an opening round of 64 to lead by one stroke after the opening round of the Northern Trust Open. Kuchar took advantage of ideal early scoring conditions and fired a flawless 7 under par 64 to take control of the PGA Tour event. Kuchar made a sizzling start with birdies on his first three holes and picked up four more to finish one ahead of Spaniard Sergio Garcia, who carded a 65 late in the day. Play was eventually suspended in fading light with 18 players yet to complete the opening round. Twice champion Phil Mickelson carded four birdies and four bogeys to start out with a level par 71. In football, Manchester United manager Alex Ferguson and Real Madrid manager Jose Mourinho react after the sides drew 1-1 on Wednesday in the first leg of the UEFA Champions League last 16. Danny Welbeck put the English Premier League club into the lead in the 20th minute when he headed in Wayne Rooney's corner. Former Manchester United player Cristiano Ronaldo scored against his old club when he headed in Angel Di Maria's cross. The second leg will take place at Old Trafford on March 5th. First half, I was a bit disappointed in how deep we defended, which gave Real a lot of opportunities for crosses and shots. Fortunately, David de Gea was excellent, had three, four really top saves in the game. But we made chances all the time. We kept making chances, and hopefully we don't regret that. But the way goal is important. Uh, not finished, of course. Because, as we know, we are a fantastic counter-attack team. But it does give us a good chance. And uh, I look forward to it. I think they come, they come here to, to defend well. They come here to don't concede uh, spaces and, and, and goals. And um, they didn't play to win, but, but they, they, know, they know that they have in attack very important players with, with great potential that out of nothing they can create uh, chances and score goals. More football news. Zenit beat Liverpool 2-0 in the first leg of the Europa League with Hulk and Semak scoring both goals in four second-half minutes. Zenit scored two goals in four second-half minutes to earn a significant advantage before the return at Anfield next week. 
Hulk's unstoppable swerving effort from 30 yards broke the deadlock for Zenit after 69 minutes, and Sergei Semak scored just three minutes later to break Liverpool's resistance. Liverpool's coach Brendan Rodgers admitted his team lost their spirit after Zenit court, uh, scored rather, their second goal. We've given away two poor goals tonight. Obviously, the first one's a, a terrific strike, but we'll be disappointed in the build-up and, and maybe we can defend that better. And, and obviously, the second one is, is, is not a good goal for us to concede at all. So, um, you end up you losing the game and we never really should have won the game. In Major League Baseball, the Los Angeles Angels were eager to get the season started on Thursday at a press conference in Arizona. The Angels are now in a must-win mode after a third-place finish in the AL West and a third straight year out of the playoffs. Josh Hamilton, the 2010 AL Most Valuable Player, received a $125 million five-year contract in mid-December, a year after Albert Pujols' $240 million 10-year deal. The Angels are counting on the addition of Hamilton to get them off to a fast start after beginning 6-14 and last spring and then going through a 5-13 and funk in the first 19 days of August. Pujols batted 190 with no homers in April last year, then finished with a 285 average with 30 homers, 50 doubles, and 105 RBIs. Uh, I love Texas. I loved uh, the organization. I had a great time with them. Um, but you know what? Now I'm an angel. Uh, you know, I know where I, uh, I need to be every day. Um, so excited to be here, excited to meet the guys, excited to spend time with them, get to know them and uh, win some ball games. Well, I think these guys know what it takes. <laughs> you know, it's just, uh, you know, first of all, you need to obviously get yourself there in the postseason. And obviously last year we missed the postseason. This year we're going to try to get there first. And then from there, anything can happen. Uh, I've been in ball club that everybody was expecting, uh, you know, us to get to the World Series. We never made it uh, like last year. But uh, I mean, all the ball club, you know, nobody was expecting anything and we ended up winning. Uh, you know, the whole thing. But I think the main goal for us is, uh, you know, we look good in the paper, but we still need to go out there and perform and stay healthy. This is awesome. Uh, and the same thing happened this year. And the first thing I did, I, I texted him and congratulated him. And uh, he texted me back. He said, just get your legs loose. That's all that matters. <laughs> Marion Kreiner and Andreas Prominger won an Austrian double in the Olympic parallel giant slalom test, while Kelly Clark and Taku Hiraoka clinched the half-pipe test in Sochi, Russia. By winning the season's third FIS Snowboard World Cup, the two boarders earned took out the women's final by beating Amelie Kober by a mere four hundredths of a second to celebrate her third career World Cup win. Later in the day, Clark and Hiraoka clinched the half-pipe test event Clark, a 2002 Olympic gold medalist, finished with a score of 88.25 points to clinch the title. 17-year-old Hiraoka earned the highest score of 90.25 points in run one of the finals. We read your Twitter reactions when we come back. Keep it here.
We asked you who you think will win the NBA All-Star Game on Monday morning, and here are your replies. From Official AP8 East, Mr. Chocolate is there. I like you, Official AP8. Kurt Cromwell Perez, the fans are always the winners. That is true. From Francis Lim, East, D Wade, KG, and LeBron, Nuff said, Hashtag, patalo sa West si Westbrook na sobrang bakaw. <laughs> Santana Riza Barnes, West, of course, they are the best team with amazing players so far. Kevin Durant will be the star in my heart. From Carla Jane, West, of course, but since Chocolate loves D Wade, my money will be in the East. Hashtag Go King James, hashtag D Wade. I love you guys. I love your replies tonight. They're so awesome. From COAT, the East would win. Expect them to deliver more exciting slash acrobatic plays with LeBron, Wade, Kyrie, and George around. From AJ to Guzman, Kobe, 15 assists, Blake Griffin, 25 dunks, Durantula, MVP, West, East, Nuff said. Hashtag NBA ASG. From Enteng Cabisote, East for the win, D Wade for MVP, right, Miss Chessa? Yes, Enteng Cabisote, you are so right. From Nyan Marik, the West, they have more cohesiveness. The East players hate each other. Well, I mean, if Melo and KG are on the same floor, then I don't really know what's gonna happen there. But from Drew C, East, East Coast. From Don Panganiban, West, of course, lineup wise and chemistry wise, East is composed mainly of first time All Stars. I don't know about that one. Tweet Girl, definitely the West, period. From Nash Maninang, even though James is in the East, I think the West will win. All right, and finally, we've exhausted our heads with different points of view for the coming NBA All Star, but let's not forget the top players in the NBA. A doubleheader on TNT gives us our final two games before the All Star break. These are your top five plays. The Heat with a hot pass. Shane Battier from Tulsa all the way down to Chris Bosch, just barely beating the buzzer with the jam. Beautiful teamwork from the Miami Heat at five at number four, CP3. Open to Blake for goodness sake, and look at Steve Nash just staying out of the way. That's a heady move from the veteran player because nobody is flying with Blake. At number three, back to OKC. KD was awful in the first half, but he ended the game with 40, and look at this, he's crossing up D-Wade. He's like six foot 13 inches tall, and he's crossing up D-Wade. So yeah, that's nicely done from the NBA's top scorer, Kevin Durant, and yeah, hoop and harm. At number two, old man Kobe must have had some sort of five second energy drink here, because he's flying like young Kobe. And then you see the skills, watching with the ball, it's like hot sauce on the court out there, fresh between the legs, yet then right past Jamal Crawford, who's sweeping at nothing. Kobe, well done at number two, but there can only be one king, and on a night with Blake, Kobe, Katie, and company, LeBron rules once again on the NBA.com Top 5. That's all the time we have for tonight. But before we go, we leave you with a quote from University of Notre Dame's Newt Rockney, who said, One man practicing sportsmanship is far better than a hundred teaching it. Don't forget to check out www.solarsportsdesk.ph for everything in the world of sports. Have a good weekend, everybody. Good night.